Hello again, fifth primary students and a new math lesson under the supervision of the Ministry of Education. أهلا بكم طلبة وطالبات الصف الخامس الابتدائي درس جديد أو تكملة لدرس آه الرياضيات آه لصف الخامس الابتدائي تحت رعاية وإشراف آه وزارة التربية والتعليم. Last session we uh, learned uh, how to get the area and the parameter. And we said that the area of any flat surface is the sum of uh, the units forming this surface. And it is uh, measured by or its unit of measuring is or are meters squared and centimeters squared. And we also um, learned about the parameter and we said that it is uh, the outer distance. Uh, or the outer frame, the distance of the outer frame of any surface and the, its units of uh, measuring is centimeter and meter. We also uh, took an introduction uh, of uh, how to get the area of a triangle and we said that we have a rule which is half base times height. And I reminded you with what we have uh, learned in the first semester about the properties of triangles or the properties of altitudes of triangles. And we said that a right angle triangle, um, its altitude is on its right side or the altitude that we use the most is the one on the right side or beside the angle of 90 degrees. And we said that uh, acute angles, tri uh, angle triangles, uh, they have altitudes, uh, three altitudes meeting uh, at uh, a point inside uh, the, uh, um, the triangle. And we said the obtuse angled triangle, it has also three altitudes that meet at a point, they meet at a point outside the triangle. Okay. And we said that the three types are having the same rule, which is half base times height. Okay, now we will take uh, one question to remind you uh, of what we have covered the last session. So now let's practice. I have a right angle triangle where its base is 6 cm and its corresponding altitude or height is 4 cm. So now I want you to get the area of the opposite triangle. Okay, again, the rule that we have studied already, half base times height or the corresponding height. So here, area of triangle is half base times height. Now my base is 6 centimeters and my height is 4 centimeters. Then I substitute. I just take the base and height away and put their values or their length instead. So the base is 6 centimeters and the height is 4 centimeters. If I have a chance to get rid of the fraction, I will do it. So I will see if I can simplify the two, uh, which is the denominator of the half, uh, with any of the other two values that I have, either base or height. So it can be simplified by both. I can choose any of them. So here, 2 divided 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now I have whole numbers. I don't have any fractions anymore. So 1 times 3 times 4. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So the answer will be 12 centimeters squared because the units of measuring the area is centimeters squared or meters squared. Now we'll take a bit sophisticated question or a question with more details. 
okay here the side length of square a b c d is eight centimeters as you see i have a square we remember that the um, one of the properties of a square is that its four sides are equal so if i know the length of one of its sides of course i'll be able to uh, know the um, side length of the rest of it because the four sides are equal so if one of its sides is eight centimeter then my four sides each one of them is eight centimeter x is the midpoint of b a the point x is the midpoint of side a b or b a the point y is the midpoint of the side d a now I want you to find the three, the area of the three non-shaded triangles. Then conclude the area of triangle CYX. As you see here, the triangle CYX is shaded in red. And I have three other triangles inside this square other than CYX, which are AYX, CBX, and YD. So, what I want here is to get the area of these three triangles first. Then, uh, after you get their area, I want you to get the area of triangle YCX. So, here, the first step, uh, I will get the area of triangle DCY. Again, my rule, the area of any triangle is half base times height. Here, I have the base 8 cm. The base DC is 8 cm, as you see in front of you. But I don't have the height, which is YD. Pay attention, this is a right angle triangle. Okay, It's a right angle triangle at D. So my height is DY. So, I need to know this triangle, uh, this height. We said that the four sides are equal. Each one of them is 8 centimeters. And as you see here, dy is equal to ya. It means that dy is half da. So, half the 8 centimeters is 4 centimeters. So, dy is 4 centimeters and a y also is 4 centimeters then now i have the height and the base uh, now i can answer my question uh, question so it will be half times 8 times 4 half times 8 times 4 okay now Half times 8 times 4, I simplify 2 divided 2 is 1, 8 divided 2 is 4, and as you see here the answer, 4 times 4 is 16 centimeters squared. Again, this is area, so I use either meter squared or centimeter squared. Now, I have got one of the triangles. I've got one of the triangles. Now, Let's move to the other one. I'll get the area of triangle CBX the same way. It's a right angle triangle at the point B. So half base times height, which is half also 8 centimeters and 4 centimeters. So it's half the base, which is 8, and the height which is 4, it will be 16 centimeters squared as the one that we just did. Now, the third one is a bit different. It is also triangle A, Y, X is also a right angle triangle at the point A. But the sides or the side length uh, in this triangle are different so a y is four centimeter and a x also is four centimeter then 
here the height and the base both of them equal to four centimeters so it will be half times four times four which is eight centimeters half times four times four two divided two is one four divided two is two two times four is eight so it's eight centimeters squared okay now I will get the area of the whole triangle and then I will subtract from it um, the three the area of the three triangles we have got to get the shaded triangle يعني هجيب أنا دلوقتي عايزة ال area بتاع triangle CYX ال shaded و مش عارفة أجيبها إزاي لأنه ما عنديش height و base فهجيب ال area بتاعة ال square كله A B C D و already أنا عرفت أجيب ال area بتاعة ال three other triangles which are Y D C Y A X and X B C uh, بعد ما بجيب ال area of my square أنا بتيك أواي منه أو بعمل ماينس لل area بتاعة ال three triangles اللي أنا جبتهم هتطلع لي ال area بتاعة آخر triangle اللي هو ال shaded in red which is Y X C so uh, the area of square as we said before is side times side and we knew that the side length uh, of uh, every side in my square is 8 so it will be 8 times 8 and 8 times 8 is 64 centimeters squared خلاص جبت ال area بتاعت ال square بتاعتي يبقى دلوقتي هعملها minus ال area بتاعت ال 3 triangles اللي انا جبتهم يبقى هنا the area of triangle YCX is equal to the area of ABCD minus the sum of areas of triangles DCY, uh, CBX and AXY so it's 64 minus 16 plus 16 plus 8 which is 64 minus 40 then the answer will be 24 centimeters squared okay now let's move to another example here the side length of the square a b d e we have here a square a b d e and uh, the side length of this square is four centimeters which means in the cool side andy is equals to 4 centimeters because all the sides of square is uh, or all of them are equal uh, in length now I have also CB as you see here CB with the blue arrows is 8 centimeter يبقى سي بي كله السايد اللي على اليمين كلها 8 سنتيمتر which means انه لو بي اي 4 سنتيمتر يبقى اي سي هي كمان هتكون 4 سنتيمتر اوكي اي وونت يو تو فايند ذا اريا اوف ذا فولوينج فيجر عندي هنا ذس فيجر از ميد اب اوف ا سكوير اند ا تريانجل and I want you to get the area of this figure. يبقى هجيب ال area بتاعت ال square and the area of the triangle and then I will add both of them to each other. By doing this, خلاص يبقى عندي ال area of the whole figure. Okay, let's start. The area of the square. We said that the area of square is side times side. Okay? وهنا احنا قلنا انه ال sides بتاعته او ال length بتاع each side is 4 cm. Then 4 times 4 is 16 cm squared. خلاص كده احنا we have the area of the square. Now it's time to get the area of the triangle. We said that the area of any triangle is half base times height. Okay, then here triangle CDE 
I want its area, which is half base times height. It is a right angle triangle at point E. Okay? Now, I want to get its area. Then my base here is DE. It's my base, which is 4 centimeters. And my height, CE, CE, it's my height. It's also 4 centimeters. Then the rule will be half times 4 times 4, which is 8 centimeters. Why 8 centimeters? Because I simplified the denominator uh, in the half. 2 divided 2 is 1. And 1 of the side length that I have, uh, I simplified the base. Divided by 2 is 2. Now I have 1 times 2 times 4 which is 8 centimeters squared. Now, I have the area of the square and the area of the triangle. When I add them to each other, they will give me the area of the whole figure I am talking about. So, this is what I am going to do. I will add the 16 to the 8 which is area of A, B, D, E plus area of C, D, E, which is 16 plus 8, which is 24 centimeters squared. Okay? So this is how we have got the answer of this question. The area of the whole figure, what is the figure made up of? It is made up of a square and a triangle. I have got the area of the first one and the area of the second one. I added them to each other. This gave me the answer. Now let's move to another question. Okay. Here I have a rectangle. And inside this rectangle I have here a square as you can see. Okay. The properties of rectangle, let's revise them one more time. The rectangles, or any rectangle, its four angles are equal to 90 degrees. And every two opposite sides are uh, parallel to each other and equal in length. So here, AE is equal to BD and AB is equal to ED. But the four of them are not equal to each other, okay? So every two opposite sides are equal to each other and our four angles are 90 degrees. Now, let's start. The question here, find the area of triangle ABC, the one that I have shaded now, the triangle in this figure, ABCD. Okay. As I said, A, B, D, E is a rectangle. This means that A, E is equal to B, D. Fine. Then A, E is 6.5 centimeters and B, D is also 6.5 centimeters. Okay. So, if I want to get C, B, the base of my triangle, if I want to get CB, the base of my triangle, all what I need to do is to subtract it from the whole or the length of the whole side, which is BD. So 6.5 minus 2, which is the length of CD, it will give me 4.5 centimeters, which is the base of my triangle. C, B. So, C, B is 4.5 centimeters. And as you see here, A, B is already, is already done for me. It is here, 3.2 centimeters. Then, what I am going to do is, I'm going now to use the rule. I have the base and I have the height. Then, I will substitute. The rule is area of triangle ABC is half base times height. Now, I will substitute then half times 4.5 times 3.2. Okay, 
I can simplify the 2 by the 3.2, okay? 2 divided 2 is 1, 32 divided by 2 is 16, and I put the decimal point in the middle, and then I will multiply 1 times 4.5 times 1.6. Do you remember what we did in the first term? We used to multiply the numbers by each other without the decimal points. After that, we count how many decimal places we have, and then we put our decimal point. Okay? Here, the answer is 7.2 centimeters. Now, let's move to the last question, and we'll go to the board to explain it in a better way. So now, uh, in the figure in front of us, I have a kite, and in this figure, angle B is a right angle, triangle, just a second. Okay, angle B is a right angle, and angle C also is a right angle. So now, AB is 8 centimeters, and it is equal also to AC, another 8 centimeters. As you see, this means that they are equal to each other. And the same goes for these two sides also, 4 centimeter and 4 centimeter. Now, what I need to do here, uh, as you see here, that's what he told me, that ABD is a right triangle at B, and DCA also is a right uh, triangle at C. I want you to find the area of the opposite figure. If you look carefully at this figure, you will find that it is uh, made up of two identical triangles. If I draw a line here, this is called a line of symmetry, and this figure is symmetrical. If you remember the symmetrical figures, wh uh, what we took before, so this is a symmetrical figure, which means that ABD and ACD are identical, okay? They are like twins, they توأم, exactly the same in everything. So all what I need to do is to get the area of one of them, and then I multiply it by two. You can get the area of any of them and multiply it by two, and this will get me the area of the whole figure. So I'll start with the area of triangle ABD because I already have the side length of uh, the sides of this uh, triangle. So here, the area of ABD is half base times height, the rule that, of course, we have all studied by now. Now I need to know where is the base and where is the height. So as you see here, I said that this triangle is a right triangle at the angle B. This means that DB is my base and AB is my height, okay? AB is my height and DB is my base or the opposite. So it's going to be half times 4 times 8, okay? My base and my height. Now I simplify if possible. So here, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now I multiply, I have no more fractions, just whole numbers. So 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 8 is 16, and the units of measuring is centimeters squared. So it is equal to 16 centimeters squared. Now I have obtained or I have got the area of the first triangle ABD. And we said that this figure is made up of two identical triangles. If I get the first one, 
I can get the area of the whole figure. So here, what I'm going to do is just to multiply the area of triangle ABD times 2 will be multiplied by 2. And by doing so, I will be getting the area of the whole figure. So, area of A, B, D, C equals to area of triangle A, B, D times 2. Okay, so it will be here 16 centimeters squared. This is the area of A, B, D and 16 centimeters squared times 2 equals to 32 centimeters squared. That's it for this example. So, I believe that we have covered all the ideas that we can face when we try to answer uh, area of triangles uh, questions. Uh, I hope that you have understood all what we have covered. Please practice. You will find many examples in the school book. Uh, practice a lot about these uh, ideas and they are very easy, believe me. Just practice. Um, see you next time. Um, I'll miss you. Bye.